Hi, I'm Renee and I'm a line chef at Crave Restaurant and this is Simply Local. Simply Local is about taking our favorite Trimbegonian dishes and turning them into something fantastic. Here I take simple ingredients and prepare them by giving them a local twist. Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Local. So today we're going to do something really nice. It's sponge cake. Now it's not a regular sponge cake that is buying the grocery. This is traditional Christmas sponge cake, right? That nice sponge cake, you know when you go by your grandmother's house and you get it? Right, this is what I'm going to make today. And the ingredients that we have is butter, cinnamon, we have some lime juice here, we have nutmeg, baking powder and baking soda, we have salt, eggs, we have evaporated milk, some sugar, some flour, and we have lime for lime zest, as well as some vanilla essence. Right, so I'm actually gonna sift all the dry ingredients first. So we have three cups of flour. To those three cups of flour, we're gonna do the cinnamon as well, and we're gonna do the baking powder, baking soda, and nutmeg. I grew up with my grandmother's sponge cake all the time. So this is something that my brother, Gerard, and I love, 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 love. So I hold this there to me. Um, I love it for all the cinnamon and the nutmeg that it has as well. Those spices, they really, really do something nice to it. Right, so you're just gonna take your nutmeg. Right, so you're just gonna do about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And if you don't like nutmeg or cinnamon, you could omit it. Any um, spice that you like to add to it is fine. You could add cardamom if you'd like as well. And you're just going to put the salt. I have a half a teaspoon of the salt as well. And we're just going to add the remaining, which is the baking soda. Right, now you can put this aside. What we're going to do now is cream the butter and sugar. So you have to make sure before you start this, actually have your butter out, torn, so that it'll be nice and soft, so you could actually cream it better. So you're just going to make sure that your butter is nice at room temperature. Right, so you have all your butter and you're gonna add your sugar. It's actually two cups of sugar and one cup butter. Right, and you're gonna use a mixer and mix it. So right guys, we've creamed the butter and sugar. I know this is a long process and it takes a really, really long time, but it's worth it in the end. It took me I would say roughly around 20, 25 minutes to cream it, right? Um, so next step we're gonna do is actually mix the lime juice with the milk. Right, and you're gonna set this aside. Okay, so next we're gonna put the eggs one at a time to the butter and sugar mixture, right? And you're gonna incorporate that into the mixture. Make sure everything is being combined. And we're just going to continue to whisk this for about three minutes, just so everything will be nicely incorporated. So we've reached this stage, we have these three mixtures here, right? We have this dry ingredients here that is the, the flour, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. We have baking powder in here as well, right? And we have this mixture here. This is the creamed sugar and butter and we added the eggs to this, right? And this last mixture that we have here, this is the milk and the lime juice. Now what we're going to do is incorporate them into this mixture here and a little by little, right? So I'm just going to take half the amount of this egg mixture. And then we're going to take half the amount of the milk mixture, right? And you're going to put that on a low speed because we don't want to overmix the cake. And like I said, just keep adding a little by little, right? Right, so make sure you have it on a low speed, right? We don't want to overmix it. Right, guys, so you see it's actually coming along really nicely. And this is the consistency that you're gonna look for. This nice, thick, but smooth texture. We're gonna add two last ingredients, right? Which is the vanilla essence. 
and we're gonna add some a zest of a lime. Now I really like the flavor that the lime brings out. So you could add like a half a teaspoon of lime, lime zest. And that's it guys, you're just gonna mix again on a low. Make sure everything is combined really well. And that's about it. You see this nice smooth texture? That's what we're looking for. And if you look closely, you can actually see like the specks of the cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah, that's what we're looking for here. Right, so before you're gonna just grease your pan and you're gonna grease it and flour it, right? You just wanna pour everything into the, to the pan. Guys, this texture is everything. So you see all that creaming you're doing, that hard work is gonna pay off in the end because this is what you want to get. Right guys, so you're just gonna give it a few knocks to get all the air bubbles out of it. Right, and we're gonna put it in the oven. So if you have to preheat your oven at 350, right? And you're gonna bake it for 45 minutes to an hour until they put a skewer in it and it comes out clean. Right guys, so after the hour, I know we've waited, but look at this, like it's actually ready and it's perfect, right? So, we'll measure it, we're gonna cut it and we're gonna see how it tastes. Right guys, so this is what I talked about. This is a lovely texture that I want. It's not a regular store-bought texture. It's like just like your granny used to make at home, right? So guys, moment of truth, we're gonna try it. Like I said guys, I love sponge cake. So this for me is really nice. I'm just gonna try a piece. Mm. Guys, this brings me back to my childhood so much. Granny, I love you, thank you for this. This is like the best thing ever, you see? Again, in the hint of the cinnamon and the nutmeg tree, guys, that lime, that lime zest and the lime juice did a wonder, a wonderful thing for it. Guys, I really enjoy this. This is really good. And I'm cutting it a little bit still warm. It's not hot, but it's a little warm. So it's like melting in the mouth. It's really good. Guys, I really hope you try this recipe and let me know how it turns out. As always, guys, the full recipe is on easyfoodtt.com. Or follow us on Facebook or Instagram and let us know how you made your sponge cake. Until next time, guys, enjoy. Bye. Bye.